So I have made a lot of different types of builds in Power World, but today I have something special for you. This right here is my ultra modern base build. It is fully functional. It's gonna have all the necessities that you're ever gonna need for your base. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. First things first, if this video hits at least, I'd say about 30 likes, I'll go ahead and put a part two up when I finish the build. But for now, this is my base. It's probably one of the most insane builds that I've done so far in the game. It's located in this area right here that is real close to the Relaxerous Lux boss fight, as well as the sealed realm of the Thunder Dragon. It's right over here in these open spaces. This is my favorite spot right here for multiple reasons. One, because I have a dungeon that spawns right in front of my house from time to time. Two, because I have Mutsarinas, one of the most OP pals in the game, and I have a guide coming out about that in the future. So if you don't wanna miss out, you know what to do. But moving right along, this is the base. It's absolutely insane. It's completely functional, and it has more than one floor. Currently, I'm only using the first and the second floor of this base, but you can use the third floor if you choose to. The only reason that I'm not using the third floor right now is because I want to test out the second floor to see how well the pals are pathing up and down from the stairs and making sure that everything is working properly. As you can see, I have pals running upstairs and downstairs with ease with absolutely no problems. None of my pals get stuck and there's a couple of golden rules that I like to follow when I'm creating my different bases. First things first, this base only has 12 pals in it. I can add a lot more pals into it if I wanted to and there's enough space to do so, but I like to have about 12 pals max so that I'm getting the most out of my pals without you know, dropping too many frames and without things bugging out. Secondly, I made sure that this base has all the necessities. So it has all the plantations that you're gonna need it also has a spa or an oasis for your pals to chillax. It has a ranch. It has a breeding ground. It has an area where you're allowed to hatch your eggs. And then it has multiple floors. So let's go on the inside of the build so you can check it out. It's not finished yet, but when I do finish it, I will have a part two coming out on this video. So make sure you look out for that. But this right here is the beginning of my amazing build. So it's gonna be completely designer. I'm going to be decorating absolutely every corner and space in this place. But for now, I just wanted it to function. I've decided that every item in this base needs to be at least a full block away from another item in the game. Pals tend to get stuck and or don't tend to go to their location if it's too close to another zone. Every time you lay down an item in the game, you wanna make sure you leave at least one block of space so that your pals can path around it with ease. If you don't, they'll tend to get stuck a little bit more often than you would like to, and you're gonna to have to fix it later. As you can see, there's nothing but space in this entire build, but it has every necessity that I need so far in the game. You have your stone crusher here, which has infinite palladium. You have the improved furnace, which is going to allow you to make charcoal ingots and refined ingots. Of course, you have the mill, which is going to allow you to make flour. You got kindling going right there so you can make your cakes. These are actually functional, so you can store all the different items on shelves on the walls which is pretty awesome. And you got food on the staircase because your pals just love to throw things on the ground. I have the generator upstairs and I also have an entire garden right up here on the roof. So any part of this build can have anything that I want it to have. I was thinking about going ahead and putting in a logging site in here as well as another stone pit over on this side as well. But currently, I don't need any of those stones, so I didn't want to waste the resources. But that right there is my ultra modern Palados base build. If you like what we do here on the channel, make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips, tricks, guides, base builds, and more like this for Power World. This is your boy Am of M6HD. I'm out of here.